Hello, good morning students. Today we are going to start a new lesson that is lesson number 8 static electricity. Now to understand static electricity we will see some activities. When we rub comb on our dry hair and then if we bring that comb near the pieces of paper then what will happen? The pieces of paper get attracted towards the comb. So why these pieces of paper are attracted towards the comb? Because when we rub the comb on the hair, then the charge is developed on the comb and because of this charge, the pieces of paper are attracted towards the comb. And this charge is called as static electric charge. We will see another activities. When glass rod is rubbed on silk cloth, then glass rod gets positive charge and silk cloth gets negative charge. Next, if we rub ebonite rod on wool or fur, then Ebonite rod acquires negative charge and wool acquires positive charge. So, to understand static electricity, you can perform these activities yourself. Rub one end of a glass rod against a silk cloth and suspend this rod freely in air with the help of a thread. So, now charge another glass rod in the same manner and bring it near the suspended rod. So, what will happen? The two rods push each other away. Due to repulsion property between like charges, they repel each other. Both the glass rods are having the same charge, positive charge. Therefore, they push each other away. Now, we will see another activity. Take a plastic rod. Rub one of its ends against a woolen cloth and bring that rod near the suspended glass rod. What will we will observe? The two rods are pulled towards each other because due to attraction, between unlike charges means the glass rod which is suspended is having positive charge and the another plastic rod that is having negative charge. So as the unlike charges are there we can observe attraction property. So two rods carrying similar charges push each other away this is called repulsion and Two rods carrying opposite types of charges get pulled towards each other. This is called attraction. The origin of an electric charge. All substances are made up of particles. And these particles are ultimately made up of very tiny atoms. Each atom contains a stationary positive charge and moving negative charges. These two charges being perfectly balanced, an atom is electrically neutral. All objects are made up of atoms, which means that they are electrically neutral. Then how do objects become electrically charged? Now we will understand this. For example, when certain objects are rubbed against each other, the negatively charged particles on one object go to the other object. The object to which they go becomes negatively charged and the object from which the negatively charged particles go away becomes positively charged. Students, perform the activity 
given in the textbook on page number 52 that is try this activity by using materials paper polythene that is carry bags nylon cloth cotton cloth silk cloth etc and then perform the activity by rubbing the these substances against the substances given in the table that is balloon ball pen refill eraser wooden ruler steel spoon copper strip so rub these materials against the materials given in the table and record your observations in the table and write this activity in your class work last 10 pages about 2500 years ago a greek scientist named thales found that feathers are attracted towards a rod of yellow colored amber which had been rubbed against a woolen cloth so amber is called electron in the greek language therefore this property of amber to attract things was named electricity by the scientist thomas brown in the year 1646 ad now we'll study about frictional electricity the electric charge generated by friction is called frictional electricity this charge is produced only at the place of friction hence it is called static electricity so when we rub two objects on each other then the charge is developed and such type of charge is called static electric charge and it is developed due to friction so it is called frictional electricity now we'll observe one activity see place a straw on a bottle take another straw near it and observe what happens leave the straw on the bottle as it is rub the other straw against a woolen cloth and take it near the straw on the bottle again observe what is happening now take two straws and rub them against woolen cloth at the same time keep one of the straw on the bottle and take the take the other near it see what happens keep the rubbed straw on the bottle as it is take the woolen cloth on which it was rubbed close to it now we will record the observations given in the table in the textbook page number 53 we'll see the observation one by one first one a charged straw is taken near the uncharged straw then what will happen attraction second column is attraction now third one inference that is electrically charged straw attracts uncharged straw now second one two straws carrying similar charges are brought near each other then what will happen repulsion as already we are knowing that is between two like charges repulsion then inference the two straws carrying similar charges repel each other now third one a charged straw and the oppositely charged cloth which was used for rubbing are brought near each other then here what will happen opposite charges means attraction so inference is that straw and the woolen cloth carrying opposite charges attract each other so students fill that table given in the textbook page number 53 now we'll see the activity rub a comb or a balloon on your hair as shown in the picture and then take the comb near a thin trickle of water from a tap 
सी वॉट हैपन्स वेन द चार्ज कॉम इज ब्रॉड क्लोज टू द फ्लोइंग वॉटर वॉटर गेट्स एट्रैक्टेड दे नेक्स्ट नाउ ड्रॉ द कॉम्ब अवे फ्रॉम द ट्रिकल एंड देन ऑब्जर्व वॉट हैपन्स देन वॉट विल हैपन वेन द चार्ज कॉम इज टेकन अवे फ्रॉम द फ्लोइंग वॉटर इट गेट्स रिपेल्ड At first, the flow of water is not charged. When a negatively charged comb comes near the flowing water, that time the comb has negative charge and the water has positive charge. Due to the attraction between these opposite charges, the flowing water is attracted towards the comb. When the comb is taken away. the negative particles in the flowing water come back to their original position and the water becomes uncharged again and stops getting attracted to the comb as it it is away from it always remember the number of positive and negative charges are equal on an uncharged or neutral object the electric charge generated by induction stays only as long as the charge object object is near to it i hope you have understood the topic so for better understanding read the topic once again and do the given homework